Perfect. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, depending on where you are and what time you're watching this. And welcome to the Free Star Podcast. I am one of your co-hosts, Miles, as always, joined by... I'm Sean. How's everybody doing? And our first time on camera, I believe, with uh, Johnny. How you doing, Johnny? You good? I'm good. How are you guys? Yeah, man. Well, I'm tired is what I am. Um, I was just... I know that I messaged uh, one of you... Both of you, sorry, the other day. I um, I spent a few days annual leave after the madness of our unpacked live, which was uh, some awesome work. Thank you, Johnny, for your help with that. And that all of our fantastic announcements at work, which basically might be fun for a lot of the world, but um, I think you two will agree. It's just absolute mania, isn't it, um, from a work capacity, getting everything ready. So I, I strategically booked a few days off on... Um, Last week, I booked Thursday and Friday off, and two of my mad friends and I decided to uh, venture out. Being as all holidays and travel out of the UK is very restricted and limited at the minute, we thought we'd try something new. And we went, um, drum roll please, uh, wild camping. Wild camping? Wild camping. What makes the camping wild as opposed to normal camping? Good question, and I have the answer. So basically, uh, camping, I believe, I'm not much of a camper myself, but camping, a camping spot, a field or something like that, and you pay so much money, uh, you, get a, you, know, you get a pitch, and you're all set up, and there's often maybe a bar on the site, there's, maybe, there's facilities and amenities like toilet, shower, yada, yada, yada. This is where you go on a walk on like an extended trail um, that's decided. And you, it takes a couple of days, so you just pitch up where you can. It's not strictly legal in the UK, in England and Wales, but it's tolerated uh, as long as you follow certain guidelines. And in Scotland, it is uh, legal. You can, there's a lot of spots, so you, you, you just go well camping. So basically, I packed up a bag. Uh, we got a tent um, overpacked by probably about 10 kilograms, which I worked out after about 20 minutes. And we went walking. Have you ever heard of the Brecon Beacons, either of you guys? Is that Telford? <laughs> it's just a bit further than Telford. It's not the shopping centre in Telford. So in Wales, uh, South Wales, the Brecon Beacons, it's massive, like, national park. And they've got some... Glorious kind. Have you ever seen like Bear Grylls? You've watched Bear Grylls, right? Currently watching the world's biggest race or something on Amazon Prime, Bear Grylls, which is so good. Is it? Well, this is where we got our inspiration from. There's one on Sky that's called North Atlantic or Escaping Atlantic or something like that. And basically what they do on this program is drop people off with like a five mile radius and no watch or anything like that. No, they've got a few GoPros to record it and they have to survive for as long as they can. And the last man standing wins a million or the last people after a hundred days gets a share of a million. That just called Australia. So we were, Australian <laughs> I don't, I, 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 Australian scoring. Is, is, this, <laughs> is that what, what growing up in Australia is like? <laughs> yeah. Is, I was going to say, I was going to say, Sean, you're explaining this wild camping. That just seems like camping to me. Who goes to a park to yeah, camp? No. That's not camping. That's a caravan. Not a park, man. Not like a park with like the Warsaw Arboretum. With no, when, and stuff. when you like... said at the start, camping is when you go to like a spot and there's a bar. That's not camping. That's a caravan yeah, yeah. park and you just pitch in a tent. Oh, yeah. Isn't that no, that's thought... what some, that, that's what some camping is like pretty much. That now, sounds like camping. Sure I thought camping... camping. I thought camping is when you and your friends got a tent, found some woods, pitched up and told horror stories and built your own risky Mm, fire. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wild camping and a fire. That's it. If you watch anyone... That's not not wild. There's no rules in the wild. I don't want to hear no fires. Bear Grylls told me to build a fire to keep... It's guidelines. No, Bear Grylls Grylls told me to build a fire to keep predators away. So I'm not going to not build a fire. And okay. how am I meant to stay warm? All right. I mean, Miles, the thing is, if you, 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go on, Jenna. I was just gonna say you have to have a fire because then you have your marshmallows, you have your you know what I mean, your baked beans, you have all your like all your different. Let food. me tell you. Okay. If you've gone with if you've gone with okay. someone that can fish, maybe it's different in Australia versus like England. Okay. Or something. Okay. You've got to have the, me, like, it's definitely let different. Me, I mean, it's just like let it's me fight back. We've got, we've got snakes, but not really. This is, this like, listen, this bullying that I'm receiving right now. Let me just fight back with this, right? I'm not having anyone demote my camping trip from wild camping to camping. It's not happening you, because you went I'm camping. You, you have rules, um, and you had ten care of luggage. Guideline. You don't take luggage when you go camping. You take you turn your boxes inside out, and you put your socks on your hands to keep warm. I'm just imagining Sean sitting there with his phone, just being like hashtag camping, hashtag <laughs> wild camping. <laughs> yeah. It's just like it's the so branding. Funny wild just <laughs> it was it was men it was, gone wild hashtag we didn't, we didn't see no we didn't see no people for three days all right number one that's number just two lockdown. there was no bathrooms there was no bathrooms <laughs> <laughs> that's that is he's got a good point we are in a quarantine you know johnny i will shoot sir on some bail i did see some pictures and videos from where he it, he was in the wild. I'll give him that. Where he, there was trees, lakes. There was no one around. I didn't see any buildings. And you know it's the wild. Or you know he's out in the sticks. There was no telephone poles. There was no... There was nothing that would look like man had been there before. So I'll give him that. However, Johnny, he didn't show me where he camped. Mm. So for all I know, he could have just gone for a walk so and then a popped into a holiday in. Yeah. yeah. You know so like when they do this... And went, That's good enough for the gram. I imagine Sean go. did that and Sean did the Anton deck. He went somewhere. I was like, oh my God, we're in a jungle. Anything can happen. And when the camera's off, they're back in their trailer. Aircon, right. TV, satellite, well, that's, Wi-Fi. That's what I feel about with Bear Grylls where As- it's like they've got the, the camera guys eating really well. Or like, you know, same with Survivor. The cra- camera guys are eating really well and then the contestants are just sitting there kind of like... Yeah. But Bear Grylls eats a snail, and then 10 minutes later, he's got a ribeye steak with some sweet potato fries and some broccoli. Okay, two things. First of all, I'm going to re-explain my wild camping. Second of all, is legitimately, it's never a good time to mention that I haven't started recording my audio. <laughs> it's fine. It's is fine. That, Just is that going to be a problem? You're the audio. Right. So this bullying is going live on the, on the, uh, on the show. But let me re-explain. There's, ca- there's glamping. That's your kind of Instagram friendly camping, from what I understand. That's your let's get some cool pictures for Instagram. Camping is it's not a camping. tent, is it? It's like a no. it's a fancy yeah, it's like fancy a with like a mat- electricity. Yeah, yeah. yeah and a yeah, mattress. Yeah, yeah. Then there's camping, which is a desert you know where you're going to stay. You're probably within half a mile's journey of like a, a town or a little quaint village, and you can go and have a pub lunch. And then there's wild camping, real hero type of stuff, yeah? This is made for people who are, who, th- this is serious stuff, all right? This is where you press start on the beginning of your tracking. You've got no reception on your phone. You're not phoning for dominoes. You're not having no ribeye steak. You are, you, are, you are discovering a lot about yourself as much as you are the wilderness as you're on this journey. This is what I went on, all right? Now, we we trekked, and funnily enough, I did actually trek it all, uh, trek it all on my Samsung Elf. Naturally, right? Let me explain what I did. I'm thirsty. <laughs> Can't believe I got just, bullied by just, just trying to I explain discovered so much about myself. I spent so much time watching Netflix. I don't know. <laughs> no Netflix. <laughs> hey, no Netflix. No one is basically giving us different parts of Bear Grylls TV programs. 13, 13 kilometers, right? 13 kilometers is what I did on the first day. Now, I want to explain to you that that's 13 kilometers uphill. You know how far I ascended in meters on that day? Up to 610 meters. Uh huh. Where's the bully in that? Where's the bully in that? Let me show you something. Smile. It's only eight. My weekend was my weekend was me walking 30 kilometers in a day. Because I just was bored. With this on your back, bro. Did you have this <laughs> sure. on your back? Sean, did you Sean, have this on your back when you walked to the shop? For Look everyone that wants to know, this. Sean did eight miles, okay? He put it in kilometers so it sounds a bit more. He did eight miles. I'm just going to show you, Sean, if it works. When I climbed Snowdonia, I did over 10 
miles. I didn't need to camp. I didn't need to rest like a little baby. Yeah. I was up, yeah. down. Well, gone. I'm telling you, this is uphill, bro. That's actually and I, the I don't bag mean snow, it don't you? Where the steps. The bag didn't have a thing I in had, it. It's just the bag. Listen, <laughs> let me explain what I needed. I had walking sticks. Have you ever walked and needed sticks? That's what I, mean, I had. How many times did you mention Gandalf while you were walking? Like, did you go every five steps and you're like, this shall to not be fair, pass? To be fair, the, the, to, to be fair, the, the boys, the boys that I was with, my friends, that every every 10 seconds were like, this is Lord of the Rings type stuff, man. This is Lord of the Rings type stuff. But you know, we got I'll, there, we set oh. up camp. <clears throat> we set up we set up camp next to a lake. Didn't see no people. And this is me trying to conclude this part of the story because I'm I'm done with the absolute <laughs> ribbing that I'm getting from you guys. <laughs> we ate from a stove. My friend did nearly set the national park on fire, but that's a story for another time. All right. We had a stove. Um, that's not wild. I meant to get twigs. Oh, was... That's glamping. This is this is glam. Thank you, Rob. We're here with a real Australian here. He has fought crocodiles in, and in seen Australia, the snakes. I, the last time I went camping, it was the fire. You, you gathered the sticks. Yeah, you know, I almost died, mind you. I almost fell off a cliff face and it went straight into the like Ooh. way down into a river. And my friends are watching me. Miles, why, are you ooing, why are you ooing, why are you ooing Johnny's little story about him nearly falling over? And he not- nearly died, and you're telling me you and your friends thought you was in a movie called Lord of the Rings. <laughs> I nearly died, bro. I nearly died. Yeah, because you didn't have a fire. Because you had rules. Because you was in a campsite in Wales. Probably just outside. He was probably just outside Cardiff. For all the listeners and viewers, the second day I did 13.7 kilometers. All right. That you want to convert that into miles that was... like we do over here in England? I'm just imagining, yes. I'm just imagining Sean being on Tinder, like with his like little bit of reception and like matching with someone, being like, guys, I gotta go. This girl's I'm not, really hey, I'm not gonna lie. She said she wants I'm to not meet gonna up. Lie to friends. It's, it's only I'm a 13 kilometer walk. Trying to get himself a trying to get back. himself a bed for the night. He's going like this, hey, he's trying to get like rece- you know, like a truck coming by. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I gave it a blast out there, but there was it was the same as rural Warsaw, little to no bites. He was going so fast that like photos weren't loading. It just was like it's just like <laughs> I just need someone to love me. <laughs> Listen, there's a lot of people out there in the same boat as me. We've had to cancel our holidays abroad, looking for alternatives. I decided to go and discover a little bit of our uh, great uh, Great Britain uh, as a as a nation, and uh, there's some beautiful spots out there. <laughs> Mm-hmm. There's yes. a lot of walking. My advice is everyone get out there, get a tent, get out there, get a sleeping bag, and just don't tell Miles or Johnny about your e- expedition, right? Because they don't listen, man, and they and it's not very friendly. But go on, if you had just started this conversation with I went camping, it would have been completely fine. The fact that you had to throw in wild camping and then you told me you had a stove. Yeah. Um, I think it what? was guys. I think it was more the hype of like being like I, I went camping and I it, and us men were were really it sounds like, together it sounds and, like, and being in the wild and you, a lot of this and I'm just yeah. kind of sitting there being like this is just Australia for me but I okay. feel like Sean and his friends were like should we go camping they went decathlon or wherever brought all of the things that campers use the the walking boots that, I bet did you buy the stick Sean did you have these sticks previously in life or did you buy these sticks there you go that's my answer right there he specifically brought these I, sticks I borrowed the sticks man I'm buying my own for my next trip no that's I slept in a cave okay. Sean over Kimber okay a cave to, to, to protect us to protect Kimber's us from the rain five, we had to Kimber we had to is find five a cave from Miles's house so. I'm not here. I'm not bragging that I was in the wild fighting wild boar. <laughs> I, went, yeah, I went somewhere. It started raining. Hey. We had to go sleep in a cave. That's the, the wildest thing. How I've did heard. you let, 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 let me bring this on track? How did you actually find cap like your experience of sleeping in the great outdoors? Honestly, did you enjoy it? No one enjoys it. It's a lie. You enjoy everything up to the moment when it's time to sleep, and then you realize what a Stupid idea it was sleeping on the hard floor hey, in the cold, and then you sit there and you think to yourself, Are there any insects in here? Now, Johnny, before you get involved, yes, I understand 90 100% of the insects in England can't kill you. <laughs> However, I just don't want the f- insects, okay? Listen, <laughs> I got bit as well, by the way, for the sake of this story. I, I don't know, but several I, times. This was I in my own bedroom in London. 
<laughs> yeah, there's some wild animals out there, but and that's not just the nightclubs of Warsaw either. But yeah, basically, I think that if you if you look at it in a different way, I went, I was in the great outdoors, the night sky. I'm a fan of the night the night sky and stuff, right? So um, I I managed to see some no light pollution, some really you know really got to appreciate that. Some good walks, good people. Can't say the food was on point because we had to go for that you camping do. food. Uh, yeah, we, we, we cooked it in the evening and my friend rustled up a decent breakfast as well. So that we, we got going there. Um, and it was a good trek. And I just want to say to everyone in South Wales, big up because you've got some beautiful parts of the world there. And we ended up in Tembe and a nice, nice little place. And Miles, I've just realised that I did actually put a message out. Or was it Chris? put a message out in one of the groups the other day saying anybody up for some camping and I didn't see your <laughs> your, your, your message did not come up at all so <laughs> uh, Sean for me you know what I need to go camping Sean so it's, it's in this weather I, I don't the know benef- the benefit of camping for me is whenever I'm overseas people just assume that I know more than what I I do know because I'm Australian so once yeah. I got lost you're expected to once I got lost and I was like, it's okay, guys. We'll just follow the stars. And they're yeah. like, what do you mean? And I'm like, it's okay. If we go, you know, <laughs> second star to the right and straight on until morning, we'll be there. And if we, we ever got you. lost, if we ever got lost together, the only bit of vital information I could probably give you is the sun rises in the east and sets in the west, which would help me so find wait all night. So you've got to wait would- all night. Yeah, that's that's all I could. Yeah. That's all I could tell you, Sean. Um, if we get lo- or if we get lost at sea, I would know to follow a bird because they go to land. Apart from that, well, just to wrap it up, go outside, then you're safe. Oh, well, actually, Sean, you know what I discovered? You know what I discovered by accident the other day is we have a compass on our phone. I had no idea. I literally found it the other really? day. So if we go Where camping, is that? where is it? It's where is um. It, please? You know your edge panel. Yeah, yeah. Edge panels. Go to your edge panel. Press your settings, and then I think it's hold on. What's it called? It's under tools because they had a service level, which is what I was messing around with. So if you build something, you can lie your flow flat, and then there's something on your screen that'll let you know how flat it actually is. So Sean could be like, "Oh my, my, uh, my fridge is north. Time for me to go on to north." Did you say the co-op was southeast? <laughs> I'm just gonna head southeast to the co-op so I can get my, if my BLT sandwich and then pretend I made it from if scratch. There's anyone listening to this who's experienced camping and the true beauty, and also the how tiring it is when you're going on a trek. Not when you're just staying by the campfire and stuff. When you're trekking and you're pitching your tent late and pulling it back in early in the morning and carrying on with your voyage. Right? Hit us up in the comments because. I need some it's strength in numbers against these two here, all right? And you can, there's a lot of fun to be had with families with camping, and there's a lot of great Insta stories had with glamping. But I'm a wild, I'm a wild Here's camper. Me all in right. Australia, we actually have like the school trip. The school, <laughs> the school. Yeah, in Australia. Oh, we only got ten minutes left of the show, but in Australia, um, uh, we had like a one week like camping thing and we had like a 10k walk and i remember it was like up these great hills and everything like that and hills like i'm talking mountains us. bro it was 30 of us and we basically had like some we hear someone being like oh we've someone's fallen they've really cut themselves like they've broken their leg and stuff like that and we're like oh we need first aid and it's like oh who, who is the person that cut their leg and it's like oh the first aid officer and we're like oh okay why don't and go then, camping and I remember how, how long were you out for? How long were you actually out for? Like a week. Like we were like it was a week. And did you camp in the same spot or did you camp set up different camps each night? Oh we we didn't really do the real like Australian camping thing. We like had like a a bungalow set up, beds and everything. But like we went So tra- you went walking. So you went walking. Basically. John, it's Australia. I don't think we would go walking in Australia. No, yeah. <laughs> no my camping. I mean, the thing is, people. Think Miles, you've more done more a snakes. bit more than expected. There's more snakes and spiders than people think. Well, yeah, like I've never woken up and seen like a massive snake in my bathroom or something, but I have seen like you know red backs and stuff like that in my garage. Actually, I've got like a whole bunch of mosquito yeah. bites at the moment, but like, oh wow, at the moment. It's just like, 
it's great because when when you uh, meet people, they'll be like, "Oh, he's Australian. He must be tough." And then they meet me, and I'm like, "Hey." <laughs> Do you know? Saying about the mosquitoes, though, Johnny, um, you don't even have to go camping for this one. Mosquitoes. Are the, do you know it, the one thing? It happened to me last week while I was at home. Actually, you know when you there's a mosquito. Basically, I like to have the windows open and stuff for uh, the, the the breeze coming through in the fresh air. And then not. But the only problem is if you haven't shut those windows by the time the sun sets, the you you're getting the cast of bugs life in your bedroom basically. And I never some of these creatures. I don't know what the look of them looks like, right? But secondly, you know when you just turn the lights off and you're you think you've cleared the place of any bugs and stuff, but then you just hear, yeah, and man, that, that that's one of the most annoying things. And I, I just decided to leave it, and I think maybe that is where I got some of these bites from because he enjoyed eating me. Well, there was like that was me last night or the night before where I basically got a couple of my hands, a couple of my face, oh wow, back. And this is just me yeah. being in my apartment in East London. Um, yeah. I'm just like, you are, on you Amazon, are in East London, East the wilderness. East yeah, London, East the wilderness, Amazon, mate. Like four in the morning trying to find like a buzz zapper killer and being like, can this <laughs> be the prime today? It's, it's delivered within the hour. <laughs> yeah. So, Sean, after your days in the wild, um, did you do, I didn't see your, your traditional post, not your traditional post, but you know when people do something, but no one believes you did it. So you feel like you have to not only upload how many miles you walked, how many steps you took, how many times you're breathing in and out. Then you have to draw a map to show people exactly where you went, calculate it all, yeah. and all that stupidish that people do. How many steps, because you mentioned you would track it on Samsung House. So how many steps in total did you actually blackouts over the was it three days two oh, days three days did you actually three ride while days. camping in your steps like you just had the wild um, camp? <laughs> put, put it down as walk, put it down walk as to like root so that spells out wild, wild camping wild there's just camping. so much information so uh six and a quarter hours oh 620 meters elevation um i don't oh yes it goes into so much detail doesn't it uh the steps i'm trying to find my best kilometer was uh in 15 minutes which is some going actually that must have been flat land there i feel like you need to change uh, your phone settings if you're getting these readings in kilometers i mean i only yeah well it is a, i'll be honest with you, it's the first time that i used it for this sort of thing really i used to use uh samsung health when i was doing like my 5k runs a little bit but it, yeah it was the first time I, first time i used it and i was like obviously used to speaking about it but the first time that i've used it and I was really impressed by the the amount of um, the In information fact. it gives you. It's if anyone has though. got anything similar, it even tells Nothing. you like the, what the weather conditions were and stuff. I feel like it was depressing, Sean, because when I climbed Snowdonia, I think yeah. it said something like I did. I showed everyone earlier. I took it off my phone now. I think I did like twenty nine thousand steps, covered over ten miles, and then it said I only burnt like one thousand five hundred calories. I was like, hold on a minute. If I go get a meal from five guys, that's probably 1,500 calories. So you're telling me I climbed through the top of a mountain, came back down, walked over 10,000 miles, and I just about burnt off a double cheeseburger and large fries. 2,100 I did, but I don't know if this is going to be hard for the screen. You have to put it to your chest and then come forward. There you go. That's too bright, I think. Right. Uh, yeah, it's too bright. Oh, yeah. Damn it. The trick, I don't know if it's going to work. I to show you the map. Because there's no Starbucks and there's no McDonald's on that map there. All right, but what I like is when it's like, oh, this is because you can join like the challenges and thing where it goes, oh, this is, you know, where you're ranking in the world. And you're like, hey, you're in the below 20. And I'm like, awesome. That's what I thought. Hold on. Um, you know what, Johnny, you've said that. Let me see where I am in this month's event. I have never finished anywhere near the top. I don't know what people are doing. They're just, oh, apart yeah, from they're walking more than me. Camping, that's what they're doing. They're just wild right. every day. Okay, so apparently in the last, so my last challenge, which was June, <laughs> I didn't even make the top million. <laughs> <laughs> this is, t but then again, according to the, it's because I work from home and everywhere's on lockdown. So last month, yeah. I only did 26,000 steps in total. But in my defense, it's only because it's tracking off my phone. 
I when I had an injury that I was telling you guys about previously when I came off my bike, I actually yeah. broke my watch. So I haven't been able to wear my watch to track my steps. So I have no idea what I'm doing. Because the good thing about Samsung Health is I generally always try to get 10,000 steps a day. Mm. It's the, it was the one little motivator I had. I'd look at my watch be like, oof, 8,000, let me go walk the dog. It does track a lot, man. Everyone should give it a everyone should give it a blast. And if anyone's got any big hikes that they've done, because we're hikers, yeah. Um, let us know in the comments below. <laughs> I mean, the Who's the we? Now, right? Oh, okay. Oh. We, we, us hikers know what it's about, man. We, we, we're hikers, so we're all uh, well. yeah. If anyone, <laughs> guys, I'm, I'm, I'm going before you not start to bully me anymore. But that, that's the show, there, man. Uh, guys, don't forget to do your backstage modules and stuff like that. Miles, you can wrap up. I'm done with this show. So, um, you know, I'll, I'll give everyone some backstory. This show was only meant to go about 20 minutes. However, we've had a bit of fun talking about the camping, well, camping and tracking steps and everything with I Samsung Health. still so, bullying me. I can still hear you. <laughs> everyone watching this, if you are on Samsung Health, um, get involved in the August challenge and let me know where you finish. Because at the minute, again, my rank has put me outside of the million. I don't even know how to work out where I am, but I'm 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 in the like the high one millions in terms of getting there. Uh, Johnny, anything you want to add before we leave? Um, no, not really. You know, just make sure to hashtag wild camping for every photo that you take. <laughs> hashtag wild camping. Hashtag real men. Uh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, that has been it for today's episode of the Three Star Podcast. Thank you so much for joining. I've been Miles. He's been Bear Grills. Where is he? Uh, Sean Grills yeah. and by so, Grills we mean George Foreman Grills that you can actually buy from the local shop and then just plug into your hotel and our behind the scene producer Johnny decided to make an appearance this week Hello. Um, so, if you like Johnny let us know if you want to see let us know if you want to see Johnny again say as him sitting in the background just listening to us waffle on but thank you so much for your time today we've been Three Star Podcast see you next time bye see you guys wild camping <laughs>